Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning about how we're going to use our filtering schemes for different filtering settings. So I hope you remember in our previous lessons, uh, we have learned how to mark data and go to our data panel and actually segregate our visualizations according to the basis of our data. We produce different markings for that. This is a similar topic. However, it's based on working with different pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter our pages in cooperating with each other. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical spot fire. Over here, I have three pages, page, page two and page three. Now, basically, uh, my first page is based on unit cost per order quantity. Second page is based on price and some other scatter plots, as you can see, available over here. And uh, the third page is based on a scatter plot, which is based on product category by sub order category. And we're just gonna go to our view panel over here and open our filters panel over here. Now, as you can see, uh, when we go to our properties over here, we have the option of going to data. Now, we've learned about markings and how we can create new markings. However, what we're going to do now is go down and we have the limit data using filtering option. Now, by default, what has been checked is the use current filtering from the page by default. Now, when I switch this off, what happens is that my data has been filtered according to uh, the filter panel. However, this data has not been filtered because I have turned the setting off. So basically, let's just go back to our data. When we switch on our filtering by default and we close this, what happens is that this has been aggregated accordingly as well. So let's get right to it. Let's just uh, create some new filtering schemes. Let's name a new filtering scheme called filter scheme one. And then there's a new filter scheme called filter scheme two. And then there's the currently used filtering scheme over here. However, what we wanna do right now is we wanna remove this. And what we're going to do is we're going to base our whole page or uh, our whole uh, visualizations on a page on one filtering scheme. So what I want to do is I want to go to this. I want to go to the data. Let's just make this filter scheme one. Data. Filter scheme one. Let's just switch this off. Over here as well, you have the option to filter your data according to filtering scheme one or two. So basically, the data that have been limited to filtering schemes uh, will change accordingly. However, the data that have not been chosen to a certain filtering scheme will not be segregated. So as you can see, our data over here keeps changing according to our filtering scheme one. I haven't really worked around it with it over here. That's why it doesn't change over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to filtering scheme one. As you can see, our filtering scheme one has been used. So when we go to page number two, nothing really changes from this page. So what I want to do over here is I want to open the view panel over here, filters, and I want to base my filter on filtering scheme one. So when I change the value of filter scheme one over here, what happens is that it changes over here as well. So let's suppose I segregate this data over here. This data has been changed as well. So when you're working around with different pages on a report, you can change values on both pages accordingly as well. Maybe I want to segregate this data to filtering scheme two. because I want to base it on a certain country perhaps. And I go to my third page and base the filter visualization over here as well. So what I do is I right click 
and I choose filtering scheme two. Now what happens over here is when I when we go over here, we can see the channel is based on many values. When I go to page three and I work around the order quantity and change it to maybe a minimal value of uh, this, what happens is that you can see that the some unit cost and, and per order quantity has disappeared because it doesn't really work around the order quantity of those values. However, when we go back over here, you have a new visualization that has been filtered according to this value right over here from order quantity four to this. You can always just drag on your filter from the middle and move it around these values over here to maybe work around your data. And it changes accordingly as you can see because this data over here has been filtered by filtering scheme three. However, I can click on my data and work around with it. And you can see it marks me, it marks over here on my line chart as well. It, uh, that's a default option available. You can always just add a page and add a visualization, for example, a tree map, and you can make it by the default filtering scheme. It's easy to understand that this filtering scheme can be used on different visualizations and different pages as well. Let's suppose I do not want to filter this according to filtering scheme on the page. I want to filter it according to filtering scheme. And over here, I've got filtering scheme over here. And when I use the unit cost, you can see in my page two, it has changed as well. It, it has brought just one dot over here. So this is how you just filter your data across pages. This is a, currently I have messed it up uh, a bit. And as you can see, different visualizations are filtering different pages or different visualizations on other pages. However, filtering your data um, helps us a lot in aggregating your data or segregating it to a certain value, certain date, unit cost, price, order quantity, or any other magnitude of value which you might want to contain. So this is how you ag segregate your values of visualizations and on the page with your filters. I hope you've understood how to use these filter settings and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.